All right, guys, guess where we are? We're in the Tupperware headquarters. We're about to check out the museum. Uh, not sure what this is all about, but I saw it on the Roadside America app. Let's go! Hey Melissa, our next car, it could be a Tupperware mobile. Look at this! There's another one! Uh, I know you're on vacation with us today. <laughs> Did you ever think you end up at Kissimmee at the Tupperware Museum? I thought we were going to Gatorland and we land up at Tupperware Brands. <laughs> I feel special and blessed. Uh, yeah! So that's Rick Goings. He actually led the Tupperware brands for 30 years. Look at those pearly smiles. How's it going, Rick? Thanks for letting us check out your Tupperware today. I use Tupperware for slime. Filipinos, they love Tupperware because every time they bring in food, they're all over the place, always trying to give food to everybody else. So we're going to check out where all this Tupperware come from. We are now headed in to the Tupperware brands Rick Goings Pavilion. So let's check out the museum, founded at my roadside America. Ooh, we're getting Tupperware stickers. Tupperware stickers. So when you're here, it's actually, you can have a self-guided tour to kind of go through the different history of uh, Tupperware. Okay, so here we have the gel insert mold with four special designs. I remember my mom making um, a jello, a Filipino jello called Golaman, and she'd always make the pink one, and I remember the flower design she always made, and that's definitely taking me back to my childhood. So it looks like in 1946 was when Earl Tupper established his Tupper Plastics Inc. Earl Tupper, I get it. Tupperware? Earl Tupper? <laughs> oh, remember those pictures? I had that exact same picture right there. That guy. A lot of lemonade uh, and water. Look at this. There's, there's like an interactive section around here. Okay, guys, Addison here. We got Alex here and Aurora. We're going to oh. test our knowledge on Tupperware. So let's start. Okay, first question. In the 1950s, with the ability to keep food fresh longer, and now common refrigerator, Tupperware products created a revolution, provided earning opportunities, changed the lives of all consumers, or all of the above. I think it's all of the above. So one of the things that Rick Goings did was try to empower women to be able to sell these Tupperware. So, you know, one of the really, you know, girl power kind of movements was through this Tupperware brand. So for the folks that sold Tupperware, they could actually win stuff. Check these things out. They could win rings, earrings, purses, some Tupperware, some watches. And here at Tupperware, you can take your own Tupperware type of photos. Who needs Disneyland when you have Tupperware parties at the Tupperware Museum? Oh, look, here's the photo. Pretty cool. This is what my grandma had. Um, the crispit two quart bowl with dome seal. So that is what you would put on the bottom of the bowl and you would stick your iceberg lettuce in there and it would keep it crispy so it wouldn't get yucky. And that's why it had the dome top so that the iceberg lettuce could fit in there. See, that's fancy. I never had that. Yeah, my grandma had this set. Um, so I had this uh, when I was growing up. Pretty cool, right? Oh, well, look at this. This is the early Tupperware molding machine. This was made in the mid 1940s uh, to produce the Tupperware products. There's actually a store here after you go next, right next to the museum and get everything Tupperware. Looks like they even do demonstrations. Babe, how do you buy stuff in this joint? So you write it down, the number, and then, um, well, 
some of the items that have to go and back and get it for you. So this place is actually right next to Gatorland. So if you want to learn more about Tupperware, uh, stop on by. Hey, it's, good news is it's actually free. So family's having a great time uh, while we're here just hanging out in the Orlando area. Make sure to like and subscribe to down below. And hit that notification bell while you're at it so you know when a new video comes out. Till our next journey, bye!